Hey guys, so this this video is called How to Build a Professional Website. Now, you know many useless facts from school. I love uh, I love this Calvin and Hobbes comic. I'll give, comic. I'll give you a second to read it. Um, but building a website, in my opinion, is an essential skill for everyone under the age of 50. And honestly, honestly, over the age of 50 as well. Um, it's extremely powerful skill set with multiple options. It's easier than it sounds. And honestly, building websites is what changed my life. Um, when I was in my early 30s from someone who had I had no direction, I didn't know what I was doing. Once I learned how to build websites and got into this internet marketing, and my life has not been the same. It's been so much so amazing. So the first thing you can do with your own website is have your own personal portfolio, curriculum vitae, CV, or web presence. As I said before, when somebody Googles you, they see this professional polished looking website, it makes your it immediately boosts your um, professionalism, even if even if you're 50, especially if you're 15 or 16 years old, it's very impressive. Number two, you can you can have your own online business or blog, as we described in the last video. And number three, you can charge people or businesses to build them websites. Oh, twenty dollars! I wanted a peanut. Twenty dollars can buy many peanuts. Explain how. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. So, guys, this is an actual example. My student, one of my students, Nick. Um, I told you he's 21 years old. He's making about $45 an hour freelancing and digital marketing, but he's also making money setting up WordPress sites. And this is one of his clients, Coalition for a Safer Washington. It's run by law enforcement officers. This is actually his client here. His, his client, Mike uh, Solon, is a police officer who's so impressed with, my, with Nick's work, he did a video testimonial for him. And now Nick's messaging me. And, you know, he was paid $800 to set this site up using the techniques that I am showing you in this course using WordPress. And he used the Socrates theme, which is one that I recommend because it's very easy to, to customize. And he's also being paid $400 a month to maintain it. And I remember I joke with him because, you know, Nick used to work at Taco Bell. I'm thinking, guys, you know how little work it is to maintain one of these websites? What, 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 what he's going to do is, and one of the reasons Mike likes him so much, I can show you in, in his testimonial. Hey, everybody. My name is Mike Solon. I've been a police officer in Washington State for about... 20 years. I'm also the campaign manager for the Coalition for a Safer Washington. Not too long ago, I needed some web design services for the coalition. And I asked around and I wasn't too impressed with some of the web designers that I had interviewed or um, that had contacted me or came forward. Um, did for a number of reasons. But then I uh, was fortunate to come across Nick Shulaner, um, also goes by the name of the Digi Market Man. Um, Thank goodness that I got I came across Nick because the reason why um, I speak so highly of Nick is because literally every time that I emailed him, texted him, or called him, he was on top of any editor tweak I would like to see on the site or any kind of update that uh, I think that we needed. He loves the fact that Nick's so responsive. You know, Nick's available. He's on the computer. He, if you text him, he get he makes changes to the website. So he's making little tweaks and changes to the website, being paid four hundred dollars a month. How much does the average high schooler or college student have to work their ass off to make four hundred dollars a month? Whether you're working minimum wage or at a day job, I mean, he's sitting on his butt because he learned these skills and this website. And to be eight, paid eight hundred dollars out of the gate is amazing. And and the best thing is the customer the client is absolutely thrilled with the product and this is something you guys could be doing too again it's a lot better than mowing lawns one more thing i'd like to point out guys this uh this is nick's profile by the way if you're thinking that age is an issue remember what the client said he said he he was introduced to other web designers and he wasn't impressed but this 21 year old who just learned this stuff online impressed him with his not only his ability to do the site but his attitude and his availability and his work ethic and, and his attitude and everything. So I just want to let you know, I mean, this Nick was probably up against web designers and developers who had college educations, maybe people who had 10 years experience and none, none of them impressed the client enough to win their businesses. I'm saying this is doable. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're in high school or 18 or 20, you can do this and you can do all of this without coding and this is like the most thrilling thing i can think of because remember back in in the day you had to be a coder to build a website but now wordpress is what i call a brilliant framework it provides the the foundational code framework uh, of a website so that anybody can put one up very easily 
So again, in the old days, I got ahead of myself, you had to type in computer code for all the web pages. You literally had to type in line by line by line. And you could still do this if you want to, it's just not very efficient. Now with WordPress, the code is already written and you just basically make adjustments. You install WordPress into a website and you install a theme, we'll talk about that, and you just tweak it and you have put up an amazing looking website. And I'm gonna show you in a minute. Now that makes you a real genius. Nobody, none of your clients or people around you have to know that it was that easy to do. All they know is you created a cool looking website. The WordPress is the framework that you install to a private host. A host is just a server. It's a computer where your website lives. That's it. So, uh, you know, it's your property technically, professional and independent. And this, so this is very different, guys, from WordPress.com, Facebook, Tumblr. You might have a Tumblr page. Those are all great, but they're they're not professional, and you don't own them. The, those companies own the the things. Now, the reason you don't use your own computer, obviously, is you know a server is online twenty four hours a day. There's a lot of technical aspects to it. You wouldn't want to use your own personal computer as your uh, your host and hosting is actually very, very cheap and easy to get. So again, with the templates, I'll show you in a moment, there are thousands of templates that you can buy, upload, and suddenly you have a professional looking website. And again, you can use your site yourself or charge people to build a site for them. And uh, now I'm going to jump over to a live demo. So I want to show you all these templates. This is a website called themeforest.net. There's 43,000 themes on this one marketplace alone. And I just want to show you some examples of some websites that have been built with WordPress. Um, first of all, this is my, uh, you know, my course, my sales page for my course. Um, and the, the, the website you're on right now is all built with WordPress. This is a really cool plugin called Thrive Themes that, uh, that helps create these professional looking websites. But there's also bigger, you know, uh, variety.com. This is obviously the, for the film industry, this is a very big, uh, magazine, and this is their website is all built on WordPress. The Walt Disney Company <laughs> is built on WordPress. Uh, BBC America is built on WordPress. You got MTV News, Usain Bolt's website. Just a lot of, there's a lot of these. I just picked some randomly that I thought were pretty uh, notable. Uh, these are, this is a site that I built. This is my film school site. And again, this is all done with a template. I didn't, you know, I had a video, I uploaded some things and I didn't code I didn't code any of this. Um, this is, uh, I did this for a client. This is like what I was thinking about client. I had a client who was, you know, they have run a funeral home and say, oh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to design a website for a funeral home, but I found a template for funeral homes that had these stock photos and things like this. Look how professional this looks. It's amazing. Um, and I just put this together pretty easily. This is a WordPress site. This is one of my old clients. Um, you know, they, they sell uh, steel buildings and infrastructure and their whole website's built on WordPress. Um, I'm going to close these just because my computer's a little slow. I have a Chromebook. Um, and then this is, so this is one of the, one of the best selling themes on theme for us. I just want to give an example is that, um, it actually, as it says at the top coding knowledge, not required, but look at all these different little mini, uh, templates they have within the template. So the, the idea here is that a lot of small businesses are going to be hiring. You remember 40% or 50% of small business owners don't even have a website. So they've created some, uh, templates that are already pre-made for the typical business owner in this particular field. So you got a salon, you've got an electrician one, you've got one for a university. Oh, I love that one. You've got a finance one. You've got one for a freelancer that actually could be good for any of you guys. It looks like a CV site. There's one for a construction company. Um, there's one for a vet. There's one for uh church churches definitely need help with this hotel lifestyle so this is amazing this is one theme you buy and within it they have all these sub themes so you get like 20 themes for the price of one uh let's take a look at some of these um actually loaded up so this is pretty awesome like this is the mover website you see the the sites all kind of have the same again the template but the graphics and the design are all different but look this is for a moving company you get a you can go to your low you know a lot of moving companies they're not that sophisticated you might have one in your your hometown and you they look at their website it's not very good say hey i can build you a better website boom you install wordpress install this template and boom you've created this great looking website same thing for a salon see it's the same general sort of um placement of things but you know they've already stylized it and look it's got the price list like, look at how cool this looks i'm impressed um electrician 
Do, do, do. I love, I do like this one. I actually thought of getting it for this. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that to make it look a little more, uh, more like a university. Um, finance, this is great. And this is great. Financial guys have money, obviously. You go to, go, to a, go to the money manager near you, see if they have a decent looking website. If not, make them one. Um, this is, this is for a freelancer. This is, this could be your website. You know, this could be like a picture of you at the top and your name and all the stuff about you. There's a few different, uh, really cool templates for CV websites. Um, this is for a construction company, another great type of client. Construction is a huge industry, obviously. This, I love how they tailor each one of these though. I mean, look, they, the, the, the numbers of all the, you know, the statistics on the business, testimonials. Uh, this is for a vet, very cute with the, with the animals. And this is for a church. And it looks great. And remember this, what I love about this, I like, this is, this is all from one template. So I think this Avada theme is like 60 bucks and you get like all these, you know, I'm not trying to sell this template in particular, but honestly, I didn't know about this template till recently. And I was like, well, this is probably why it's the best selling theme because they give you people like 30 templates for the price of one versus buying one. Now, again, you, you don't have to buy this template, but you just go over to um, WordPress and you just type in what you need. Let's say you get a client that's a dentist, you type in dentist. And you see there's all these dentist themes, medical, dental. Um, there's a whole bunch to choose from. There's different ratings. The cool thing about we're, um, Theme Forest and these themes is that, let me come back to uh, this one, is that they, see, when the themes are this uh, selling this well, they have good customer support. So even if you don't know what you're doing, they are going to have a lot of support in forums to give you answers to any technical problems you might have. Um, and they have this demo installer, which means basically you don't have to do, this makes it even easier. You just kind of click a button and it's going to import all the, all the stuff to make the site look like what I just showed you. Um, and you know, with Envato, the other thing is you, if you don't even, if you don't even want to learn how to do what I'm going to show you, which I think you should, cause it's not that hard. You can have someone else install your WordPress site for like 50 bucks if you want, but I think you should learn how to do it. You you, you can handle it. <laughs> it's really easy to do. If I can handle it, I'm twice your age. I think you can handle it. Um, so uh, going back to dentists, let's say you got a chiropractor and again, chiropractors are these, these sort of medical fields where they make a lot of money are always good clients, you know, physio, physical therapy. Let's say you got um, automotive, like you can do a car dealership or maybe a garage. Um, there's a car dealer, not a car dealer. I'm trying to look for repair. Let's see if auto repair is in here. Yeah, mechanic sites. I mean, look, there's pretty much. I mean, look, there's forty three thousand on this site alone. I think if you if you have something you need, the chances are there's something um, that you can do with it. Um, there's also just a couple other themes I'll recommend to you. There's the one. There's one theme called Divi, and Divi is from a company called Elegant Themes. And what a lot what I like about it is that. Um, they have what they call a visual page builder. And that's where the, you don't have to, um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to, I'm going to repeat this later because it'll make more sense, but I just want to let you, this is a, you have what we call a, what you see is what you get where you can, um, drag and drop elements onto a page. You know, it's showing you right here. You can, you know, lengthen sections, you can drag in columns, put in text images and stuff like that. And this is a very popular, um, you know, very versatile template, Divi. It's very good. Um, the other thing I'm going to show you is that, um, you know, the the squeeze page, pre-launch, this that you saw when you signed up for the course um, is, this is all built, and, and my sales page is all built with what they call Thrive Themes. And I love this because it helps create these these high converting, really professional looking web pages instantly. Um, so there is a Thrive Themes has all these, again, these are all little plugins for WordPress that make you look like a genius because they just create cool looking, um, you know, websites and, and we call squeeze page. This is called a squeeze page, guys. I'll get into this at another, another time, but it's basically a page that obviously I got your name and email. So now I can follow up with you. Um, 
with more information. And that's something I get into a little bit more when we talk uh, in the digital marketing course. Um, but this is called Thrive Architect. And it's basically, it's not a theme, it's a plugin, um, but it allows you to, again, you can you have all these templates within this one product that allow you, you to make all sorts of cool different websites for different clients. So again, now you can position yourself as a web designer or web developer without knowing any coding. So that's that's what's exciting. That's what gets me um, excited about all this stuff. So now let's um, let's actually go through the process of setting up one of these one of these websites. I'm going to try doing this in a little bit different way than I normally do. I'm not going to walk you step by step yet through the process of setting up the hosting and the website. I want to show you what you're going to be um, getting when you do it, which is the the interface, the WordPress interface. Now I have three of my websites here um, and I'm using the same theme for all of them. As you can see, I really like this theme called Eureka. Um, obviously it's also the same theme as you will see for the Skip College. Um, I just like this because it's clean, it's easy to navigate and it's very simple. Um, so I have this other website called Millennial Money Master and these are a bunch of you know articles that I wrote that I did before Skip College, and you can see that you know it's just basically a mixture of text and images, and I'm able to you know create something very creative just combining just combining um, images and text, which is really what is a what is a, a website but a bunch of images and text. Uh, when you log into WordPress, you're going to see what we call the dashboard, and there might be some. Actually, I forgot there's all this crap up here. Um, this is my dashboard for Skip College for Success. You can see this is pretty intuitive and easy to understand. Basically, you this is you know posts and pages are the content of your website, and then there's a, a bunch of these other things: appearance, plugins, users, tool settings. And when we when we actually set up the site, I'll take you into that. But before we get into any of the settings and things like that. I just want to show you the basics of a, of a page, you know. So let's come back to Millennial Money Master. I look at all my pages and you can see I've already got a lot of content up here. And all you do is, you know, you can edit a page or you can add, I'm going to show you in a second, adding a new page because obviously when you install your site, you're not going to have anything. Um, you know, created yet, but this is just what you know a page looks like inside. It's, it's it is what it's. This is what you see is what you get, editor, because it's you know you just start typing and putting your message there and inserting. You know, you click up at add media, and that's how you insert an image, um, a graphic here on the right or the left. You know, I can change the alignment by clicking left or right. Um, it's pretty straightforward, guys. It's just like writing a Tumblr post or a Facebook post, just a little bit different. When you want to add a new page, you just put in a new page. You, you title it and you start typing and expressing yourself, et cetera, et cetera. And then you just click publish and you've got a new web page. And that's really, that's like, that's the basics of it. I mean, basically putting together one of these sites, the SEO sites, just putting together a lot of content in this, um, you know, in this uh, backend processor here. Um, and there's a lot more to it, but I'm just, you know, so you were just starting this out. I want to jump over here to filmschoolsecrets.com just because I was, you know, this is my first, I've had this website up since 2010 or 2011. Um, I started with uh, solo build it. And once I learned the strategy behind it, you know, I said I wanted to do my own WordPress site. So this is an older site, but you can see, um, you know, this, you know, this film jobs uh, page, um, you know, this, I, I have a bunch of posts that I wrote talking about uh, documentaries and film school graduates and, you know, Steven Spielberg and things like that. And then I wrote these articles on the USC film school because like this was, this was a keyword targeted article because I wanted to show up when people type for typed out USC film school. So There's just a lot of content. And it was so cool because, you know, you can see there are people actually responding to what I typed. And it's just, as I said before, it's just text and pictures or videos. That's all really a website is. I'm communicating ideas and thoughts to other people. And it's just a very simple website. Just see, it's, I just want you to see that. But it, this is also built on WordPress. So it's the same, same foundation. And of course, there's links in this case. Um, 
I was actually funneling people. I funnel people into my, um, into my filmmaking program. I don't have many affiliate links there. Okay, here's a good example. I'm glad I kept, so this website is from like 2011, right? 2011. And I kept this website because back then, that's seven years ago. Remember, Google was, um, it was easier to manipulate Google. So back then, you could make a website called howtocreateawebsite.net like this. And if you just did a little bit of SEO, it was not too hard to rank certain keywords. So when I did this website, um, I had this article called Wix Review. And all I did was talk about how Wix, which Wix is a website builder. And some people come to me and say, oh, do I need to learn WordPress? I say, WordPress is still more professional with more features, better for SEO. I still think professionally WordPress is where you want to go. Wix though, if you're going to, if you want a website builder, that's going to, you need to throw up a website for your uncle's business in five minutes without thinking about it. Um, it's a good option because they do have these nice looking templates. Um, again, I said they're not very good for professional websites, but it's much better than like uh, website tonight, which is GoDaddy or Weebly, which looks terrible because this is an example of Weebly. I just think it doesn't look very good at all. So all I did was write out this very short review of Wix and explain why I like it. And then I had this link to the affiliate program. And when this was up in 2011, 2012, I got a ton of clicks to this link and I made about $3,000 in about a month or two, 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 two or three months, I made $3,000 um, from free traffic. And that was, again, that doesn't really work so well anymore that quickly. But that's an example, again, of an affiliate link and the power of an affiliate link. I mean, all I did was put this link on the website, do a few things to my website, and boom, I had, I had, excuse me, I had money. So that's, that's, that's a good example, I think, of a, <laughs> an outdated, but definitely, um, you know, that's how affiliate marketing you know, works. Um, I think a more modern example, if you look at uh, like someone like Smart Passive Income, Pat Flynn, you know, he he has an affiliate link to uh, Bluehost, to lead pages. To, these are all affiliate links right here. So he, he teaches people how to make passive income um, in his own way. And he, you know, all these links of things he recommends are affiliate links. And if you look at the resources section in Skip College, I actually haven't, this is kind of cool. Uh, by the time you see this, oh, this is from, is this my, 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 no, uh, by the time you see this, this page will be completed. But right now I'm just putting together a list of all the things I'm going to be referring people to. And these are going to be Amazon links. And there's going to be a link over to Danny's course. And I am an affiliate for Danny and for the web hosting. But I only affiliate with things that I believe in, which I think is really the way that you should be as well. And I also ha have to disclose the fact that I'm an affiliate, you know, um, you don't have to click through my link, but I do make a commission on it. And, you know, but again, this, this is all in alignment with what I want you to be thinking about. What, what could I blog about where I could put affiliate links on my website? So now that you've seen the back end of WordPress um, and you've seen kind of how the site is put together, uh, let's go through the process of actually building the site. So right now, you know, you don't have, you know, you don't have a dot com yourself. You're gonna get one and then you're gonna put the WordPress site on the .com. So let's get over and do that. So installing WordPress all starts with hosting. Now the hosting company I recommend and use is called HostGator. And all you wanna do is go over to web hosting and click the link below um, to get over to HostGator. And I'm gonna actually give you a coupon code to make this really cheap. You wanna pick this thing called the baby plan. And the reason you wanna do that is because it gives you uh, the option of installing more than one website on your hosting plan. Whereas this one here is only for one domain. Here you can do unlimited domains, but you don't need the business plan. Um, it, you don't need the business plan. It's, uh, it's more than what you need. Um, so you just go to buy now and here's where you're gonna start filling out information. Now at this point you need to pick a domain that you want to be your first website could be your own name. This could be say, Hey, I want to have a, you know, I want to do sethhimes.com, which I actually, I actually have sethhimes.com and uh, you know, there's nothing on it. So I may actually use that to install WordPress right here, but let's say, um, you know, you already know the name of the website you want to install and it's going to be, you know, your cool website, blah, 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 whatever it is. I would suggest at this point, um, 
you just use HostGator to buy the domain. You have to buy the domain name as well as uh, hosting. Now, another popular option is GoDaddy.com. Uh, but if you do that, you have to then point the domain over to HostGator, and it's just an extra step. So at this point, you're just starting out. I would say just, just put in your website and then just pay the 10 bucks or whatever it is, .club, your cool website, and it'll tell you if it's not available. So you know, might, you might have to do yourcoolwebsite.com, and that's available, and that's fine. And they're going to try to sell you on a bunch of extra stuff, and I'll tell you what you need and don't need or what it does. Now, privacy protection can be worth it for you. Um, it basically protects your identity as the registrar. So if you make it private, no one will see your name. But if you don't, then people are going to see your name and address and all this other stuff. Now, honestly, I do everything private now because uh, I had someone troll me <laughs> from um, a YouTube video I was doing that someone got my phone number from a domain I had registered. And it was some you know creepy dude who wanted to uh, bother me because I was on YouTube. Um, so I changed my phone number and I made sure everything's private. But it's not necessary. you know. Um, it's up to you. So what I would recommend you do, what I like about HostGator is that they, most of these hosting companies, you're going to have to pay up front like three years and it's very cheap. It's like $5 a month, right? Um, that is very cheap, but I prefer to do month to month. I just like it. So I'd rather pay, uh, let me see, does that include that? No, I would rather pay month to month. I just feel, I just like that. I don't like to pay up front most of the time. So I'd rather pay $12 or $10 a month or whatever it is. So what I see, the, the cool thing is I also have a coupon code for you that's going to make this whole thing to get this one penny. Um, actually, you're going to actually be able to get your, your website up for about a penny provided you didn't um, get the domain privacy, which you, again, you may want to do. But what I would do is uh, uncheck this box, the uh, site protection. You don't need that. Uh, you don't need the backup yet. You might want to get those things later. But here's what I would suggest. Like, let's say, let's say you didn't get the site protection. Um, basically put in Seth Jared in this coupon code and you're going to get um, essentially it, it becomes a penny for your first month of hosting. And you're also paying for the, for the domain registration. You're paying basically 13 bucks to get going with the domain. And that's what you do. So I would definitely use my coupon code, Seth Jared, and I would do month to month unless you want to pay up front. And you, and then that's actually a very good idea as well. A lot of people do that. A lot of people pay up front because then it's half the cost. It's like $5 a month instead of 11. It all depends on how much you want to pay up front. And then all you have to do is um, check this box, check out, put in your bill, you know, put in your billing information, obviously. And when you do that, you're going to be sent your username, your password, your login, and you're going to log into this thing called the C panel. So I'll let you do that. And then you can pause the video and then we'll come back. And you're going to be in this C panel. Whoops. I, I jumped ahead here. Let me come back here. Pause. So this is the C panel and it's the control panel and it's very intuitive. And remember, there's no coding in any of this. All you're doing is clicking some buttons and all you need to do to do a build a new WordPress site. Um, you can click on that. It's going to take you over here to this, this menu on the side, or it'll take you actually it takes you right here to um, install a WordPress site. So all you have to do is pick the domain. And when you, register you i have a bunch of domains here you're just going to have the one and all you're going to do is just pick you know pick the domain and then click next and then just title seth's cool blog and then just put in for you know admin user seth rooney whatever seth himes and i'll just put uh joey joe 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 jr shabadoo because that is actually an email address i used to use back in the day and agree to the terms of um, terms of service agreement, and then you just click install. Now I'm going to show you the the login info. I'm going to change it obviously by the time I publish this video, but you'll see I have a uh, that's my login, and all I do now is now now I go over to SethHimes.com, and you'll see this coming soon page uh, for the WordPress blog. I'm going to get rid of that. So I just either click it admin login or I just go right to uh, 
dash WP admin. And it's going to take me to this login page and you put in Seth or Rooney. And I put in the password and boom. And I'm going to click here to get rid of that coming soon page so you guys can see what the uh, now when you when you install it might it's going to give you a lot of uh, stuff you don't really need. So I just dismiss most of these. Now let's just take a look. I press control visit site to open a new tab and this is my blog. This is the default theme for WordPress. Uh, I think it's called 2018. And this is your blog. And this is what your blog is probably going to look like, except you go you go into settings and go to general. And that's where you can change all the information. So it sets cool blog, but you're a cool blog. The best blog ever. And you save it. And then uh, when you reload it, boom, your cool blog, with whatever, whatever you wanted to say. Now, obviously, this theme is free, and I think the free themes, they're okay, but they're really not as professional. But the cool thing is you can just start blogging. I mean, if you just, you know, you go over to posts and you add new. So the blog, post is for a blog, and a blog, just so you're aware, is a series of articles that are sequential, one after the other. Um, like a blog, like a Tumblr account, you know, it's like day, you know, January 1st, January 2nd, January 3rd. Um, one of the things is, uh, mostly I deal with pages unless you're doing blogs. Um, let me show you what I mean. Hold on one second. So, okay. This is, uh, <laughs> Thomas Frank's website, which I both respect him and find this incredibly annoying because this is all giving college kids tips on how to do better in college. Uh, which as we all know is a good waste of your time and money, but you can see he's got categories here like podcast and you know, this and that, and then there's blog. And when you click on blog, it's, it's his articles, all sequential one after the other. This is what's meant by blog. Someone might say I run a blog, but what they really mean is this is the blog is the actual list, you know, dating back to whenever. And when you add a new post or blog, you know, right here, and you publish it, you're going to, and usually they date it. And then when you go back to the, you know, the site itself, you'll see that next post, you see it's this one, then this one, then this one. Now, traditionally, like with Blogger and Tumblr, you could, that could be your whole website is you just start typing up stuff and it just in random order is just one article after the other. And that's all doable. I think I did that on Film School Secrets too. Let me see. Yeah, I had the same thing. So like I have these specific articles about these specific topics. And then there's the recent posts. So these are the articles, these are pages, and these are all posts, just random posts. And if you go to my blog, um, you can see it's just it, it it's pretty cool. I mean, you just get there's so much content over time, it just sort of but it's completely unorganized. So I have 17 pages of articles here. <laughs> and it's all unorganized. Uh, you know, what I do, like with my skip college site here, you can see it's all organized on the side. I don't like being that way. That's where, that's where you'd want to do create pages and have like a navigation menu like, like this. So people can navigate around. Um, the other thing you want to do as soon as you get, uh, install any new WordPress site is go over to your settings and what they call the permalinks. The way it is default, like if I click on this. Uh, you can see how it's got this long index PHP nonsense. That's really annoying. It's bad for SEO. It's really un, unattractive. So you just want to change this to post name. And now that's going to shorten everything. So it'll, you'll see here in a second, it'll get rid of this index. And now see, it's much prettier. And then if you have a page that's like Seth you know, sethheims.com about, It'll just be about without the index.php. So you know how to create a page and you know how to create a post. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to actually change your theme because this is really where all the magic happens. Now I happen to have a number of themes that I really like. Uh, so I'm going to show you a few examples just because I have them available.
Now, um, one thing, this theme, Socrates, is a decent theme. It's very easy uh, and simple, user-friendly. But the theme that I really like that you've seen like three or four times already uh, is called Eureta. If you go to Appearance and Themes, this is where you upload your new themes, or you can actually go through and actually find a bunch more free themes if you really want to. Um, you can just go to, where is it here? Go to Upload, and go to Add New Theme, and it's going to give you the option to search through all these free themes. Now, again, the problem you'll see if you try to install any of these is that they're not that user friendly and they're very, they're not that easy to customize. Um, so that's why I like the premium themes that you pay for because there's just a better, just works better. They work better. They're professional and they have support and I just think they're cool. So this one is called Eureta. You choose the file. It's usually come in in form of a zip file. Like when I download, these are a bunch of themes I have and I just download the installable WordPress file and then you just upload it. You know, you click uh, install now and then um, once it uploads, it's going to show up in your theme list. And you just got to make sure that it's activated, which takes a moment, or you just click activate. And now, check it out. Say I go to visit my site, it's going to look quite different. See, that's the whole new theme, just like the one you're looking at. Now, what I like about Eureta is couple of things it said this is a menu and when you know this menu makes it a lot easier to customize things you can change the home page you can change the styling the type uh, font the a whole bunch of stuff and I personally like two columns now what's cool is if I go to your read a theme and I'm gonna find it here you can see a demo of what it looks like and it's a magazine theme, which means it's going to be like a, one of those blogs, like BuzzFeed kind of, where you can have posts and, and articles on the side with little banners and, you know, ratings and links to social media, just all sorts of cool stuff. And what you can actually do when you get the demo is you go to um, import demo data. And you click that button and it just is going to basically set up your site so that it looks pretty much like this. And then you can go ahead and, you know, you're going to have a whole bunch of um, articles and images and you can go in and change those around. Actually, in this case, the, for the home page, you actually have this little builder where you... Um, are able to create, you know, the main area, this area, this area, which is like this. And you can make this, you know, first area like a big post and then one with like two posts and then one with a bunch of reviews, whatever you want it to be. And it's all, it's all, uh, it's all handled here. Um, actually, let's see if we can do that. Oops, sorry about that. Now, the reason no, no, nothing's showing up there right now is because there's no articles. So when you import the demo data, it's going to import all these, all this uh, information like here, really just copying these. And uh, I'll just show you what that looks like. I'm going to do it right now. So just so you can see what this looks like. So I just click import demo data. Now, this import, uh, you can get the general idea. Uh, it actually, something's not working right, and I would I would normally contact the uh, theme holders, but I'm just doing this, you know, demonstrate. But you can see how it imported a bunch of these posts that, you know, it's got all this Latin and pages, and you can see, get the general idea. Like, here's one section, and here's a bunch of posts you can click on. And you can see how you can construct a really cool, you know, looking blog from this template you know you could you could have uh, your own blog posts in here you could do a scrolling box here there's supposed to be widgets here with like the uh, youtube and facebook icon but again there's something something went wacky with it um 
which happens from time to time. But honestly, I've had this theme for two or three years. It's never happened before. But I am still including it in the course because, hey, stuff happens. And honestly, this isn't actually what I want to show you. Um, you know, if you're building a blog, uh, this is definitely one way to build it, you know, with a bunch of cool looking posts and a lot of all this information on the side. But as you can see from the way I have my website laid out, I prefer to have, um, you know, my sites uh, a little more organized, a little easier to navigate. So just over here, I'm just, um, you know, going to change this from, uh, this you do the blog layout you change it to blog layout and now all this stuff goes away and you've got your blog on the side let's see there it is now what i'm going to speak to is you can see on this you're in your course right now this stuff on the right um this is you know menu navigation makes things and, and a top menu makes things really easy to navigate so what you would do here um I could pick um, in settings, what you want to do is you go to reading and this is how you can choose yourself a home page. So your home page can either be just posts, big bunch of blog posts, or you can pick a page like I have on mine. And let's, I'm just, you know, these are all fake pages, but let's just say it's sample page here. And I click save and now my home page. And this works across themes um, is going to be the sample page. And now you're seeing it looks a little more like what my course website looks like. You could also turn this top menu on and off, which I've done. I turned it off. And then you can create menus on the side. Now menus over here in appearance, you go to menus. And again, this is really easy and it, it works across themes. You can see like you got this one menu called um, there's like, so there's main and top. And if you go over to um, manage locations, you'll see it'll give you a different spots where the, so there's the top menu no, lo, uh, navigation, which is like up here. And then there's the main navigation. So let's say I want my primary navigation to be this main thing. And now suddenly when I refresh this, there's gonna be all these things right here. See, there's all these things now which is pretty cool. Now, if I want to do, this is what I like is the sidebar. So right now when you do a blog, it, it always populates this recent post, recent comments. And this is a little bit unorganized and jumbled. What you want to do is you want to go over to your widgets, widgets and menus. So this is the primary normal widget area over here. And you can see this is a list of all the different menus. You got recent posts, recent comments, archives, recent posts, recent comments, archives. And what I can do is, I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna delete all these. Or you can see when I delete them, you can see they go away. Now I can add in new ones. Now what was supposed to happen, that didn't for some reason, is this, th these, these widgets are supposed to come in for the home page, and it was gonna look a lot there's gonna be a lot more on that homepage with all the, with all the different blog posts and you know, um, scrolling boxes and things like that. Um, what I like to do, um, like you can see the way my course site is is laid out, is creating create a new menu. And I can just call it like sample menu. Go to create menu, and I'm just going to throw a bunch of pages in there. So all you got to do is just pick some pages like test two, test one, sample page, demo blog, add that to the menu. And now and, and you can change the order of these pages, right? Click save. Now you have a new custom menu. Go back to widgets. And now I can put, where is it? I can put, hold on a second, uh, sorry, navigation menu, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, put it up there, and it'll say which menu, that new one, the sample one, call it cool new menu, save it, and voila, there it is.
Now, it's, again, this may seem simple. This is how you construct a website about any topic we've talked about, whether it's something cool like juggling or <laughs> juggling. Why is that the first thing I said? You know, magic, skateboarding, uh, music, art, poetry, whatever it is, you 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 can you know make this very easy to navigate for your customers, and then you have a review of of the particular product, takes them over to that sample page, and then it's got the article, and then your affiliate link is in there, and then boom. And by the way, to put the affiliate link into the uh, site, and we haven't talked about, you know, you have to join the affiliate program and whatnot. You just highlight these terms, and then you just click this link button, and you insert your HTTP backslash your affiliate link. There it is, and it's on the internet. Boom. That that was not. Uh, it's it's telling me that was a bad link. That's not a good URL. So anyway, that's the general idea with just creating an informational blog. Um, and again, you can use this the same theory with the menus and the pages and everything across multiple themes. But one thing I want to show you guys now is uh, another theme called portfolio. I did a sample video on this on YouTube that has like, I think, was it 48,000 views? <laughs> I'm gonna update it here with you guys. Cause this, um, I actually created this uh, and then deleted it, but I want you to be able to create a portfolio site like this for yourself. This is a very cool theme. Uh, it looks very professional. Especially if you're in high school, if you're in college, you have a site like this, it makes you look a lot more professional. Uh, and I'm gonna show you with this um, with this theme uh, exactly how easy it is to do. So let's do that next. So, hey guy. So I used to show people how to set up this theme because it does look very professional and very aesthetically pleasing. However, they have not updated this theme and honestly it's, more complicated than I care for myself. So I'm actually gonna recommend this theme. It's called AWSM, which I think stands for awesome. Simple Personal Portfolio WordPress theme. And it's actually very easy to set up. So I'm just gonna give you kind of a basic overview. Now, the cool thing about this theme is that uh, you can see it's kind of fun, but it's also professional. And it will you know, provide you with a really, a really good um, online presence. So I'm over here because the internet, I thought the internet would be faster, but it is not running faster. So let's, uh, let me sh Okay, so let me skip this. So this is the sample. This is like out of the box um, what this theme looks like. And what's what's so cool is you can see I actually set it up for myself and I just installed it. I uploaded my photo and right at sethimes.com I have this cool looking portfolio website that um, would run really fast if we had any type of decent, uh, <laughs> decent internet connection. But you can also see that the the theme comes with this really cool one page template that you can customize and the instructions are all in the theme and what's really cool about this theme is again you go to uh theme forest you download it excuse me i already bought it so you see that you download it you upload it like you did with harita but this theme has go to theme options and you can see there's already um just a lot it's already done for you it's a lot um uh, you don't have that much guesswork. Um, and one of the cool things, you go to Demo Importer, and all you do, I already did it, but all you do when you when you install the theme is just go to Import, and it's going to set up this whole, whoops, yeah, this, is, this is his thing. Let me get rid of his. It's going to set up this for you on your website automatically. And then all you really have to do is upload your own photo and put up your Facebook, your LinkedIn, your YouTube, whatever your, you know, your professional social media links are. And then, you know, you can, you know, customize the about me section, you can do this whole, you know, career journey thing, which is uh, I'll show you a little bit of how to do that you can add, you know, make little posts here. Um, it'll organize it by the date of the post, you can put videos in there. They have a little section down here that's for your services and your skills, and you can customize all that. Um, 
You can have a blog if you want it there. Again, you don't need all these things. And there is also this contact me page, which is pretty cool. So, um, you know, everything uh, is, is uh, laid out pretty clearly. You can actually if you go over to general, you can pick, let's see, which, how you want the fonts to look. You know, this is where you put in your, your different icons that you want and you, you put the links there. You can change the description. I'm going to show you just really quickly how to um, how you change the photo here because I think that's pretty cool. You'd actually just go to you have to look at the pages, and you would actually go to the profile or the home page, and all you would do is um, edit the page, and you're just going to um, upload your photo as the uh, feature as the featured image, and it's that simple. And then, uh, you know, to if you want to change the timeline here, this is kind of a cool, this is kind of how WordPress works with um, these types of features is it, it, these are a bunch of um, pre-made um, little blog posts. So if you go over to, let's see, go to career, for example. I'm sorry, you go to career here. It's, uh, I already customized. Th these are, you can see 250 ROI for client, featured video. Um, it's going backwards. So starting here is the first one. Obviously you can see it goes 2005, 2012, 2013. So you change the publication date to change the dates and you edit these to, um, to change how they show up over here. And you can put, you can put little icons and and things like that. I, I'm gonna leave it, the, the, the um, theme has really good documentation, so I'm not gonna go through everything, but the point is that you basically, with just a few clicks, you have this template set up. And again, you can, you can get rid of any of the sections that you want. If you go to navigation, this is where it's gonna give you the option of eliminating or adding different categories. So like, let's say you wanna exclude, you wanna exclude something from up here. Let's see, exclude from navigation. You can even say you wanna get rid of your portfolio, you wanna get rid of services and you sit, you save that. Then when I reload this, Our internet's been very, uh, very slow lately. Just give it a second. Okay. Now when I refresh, see it's gone. And this is very cool. If you just if you just want to have a, a a picture and a little summary and things like that, you can you know customize these things yourself. So anyway, I think this is a really uh, professional, cool looking uh, theme. And I just wanted to share that with you. And you know, that's pretty much it guys. We're, we're at the end here. I've showed you a lot, showed you how to set up a website, showed you how to install WordPress. That, those are, that is priceless information in today's internet fueled age. Um, the last thing I'm gonna show you in this video are just affiliate affiliate networks. So I've showed you Amazon, and if you wanna become an Amazon affiliate, I mean, you just go to Amazon affiliate program, and you can just Google affiliate programs, and you're gonna find hundreds of them. Um, so you just go to a, the Amazon affiliate program and just join now for free, and that's how you sign up. Um, I'm, I'm a member of an affiliate platform called Impact, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. So this is my dashboard, and what's really cool is you go to the marketplace. When you join one of these affiliate networks, they have tons of programs and things that you can promote. So within Impact, there's like Shoe Dazzle, Swag Bucks, Lead Pages, Ticketmaster. I mean, Ticketmaster is that's pretty awesome. Like think of Ticketmaster. You wanna you you do a website about music because you love music, and then the new you know, <laughs> say the new. Uh, Foo Fighters concerts coming to town or something, and you put up a link to that, you can make money off of that. Um, 
there's just so many campaigns and so many advertisers, American Express, banks. Um, let me actually take a look here. You got, you know, apparel, kid stuff, home and garden, dating and romance, flowers, pharmacy, health, beauty, all these different things. And this is just this is just what we call an affiliate network called Impact. There's also a big one if you look up commission, it's called CJ Affiliate Network. And I'm also a member there. Let's see if I can log into that. So inside of here, um, you've got some web hosting services, 1-800-DENTIST, 1-800-GOT-JUNK, 24-Hour Fitness, Inkjets, <laughs> um, hotels in Asia. Let's go to the next, the next page. Sorry, my internet is really slow because I'm actually uploading a video. So let's go to... B. I just put in B, and you can see you got Banana Republic, um, Best Buy Canada, Best Western. I mean, there are literally hundreds of programs here. So, uh, the one thing though about getting into an affiliate program like this is you want to have your website set up and I first before you apply because they do they do uh, um, review applications. So you don't want to just jump out of the gate and say, oh, I want to make money. I'm going to join this affiliate program. You want to come up with the theme for your website, make it look attractive with a theme like Arita or some other theme and make it look like it has some quality content before you apply. And if you have a decent looking blog, you will probably not have a hard time getting approved for one of these programs. Um, so there's that. And I think the last thing, I think that is, that's the last thing, guys. This is, uh, I've, you know, there's so much information that I've given you here. Um, I hope you found it useful. I hope you put it into action. Again, you can feel free to send an email with questions or post a comment. Um, but this is really, this again, this is the, this is the types of things you should be researching and investigating that are going to, you know, bear fruit as you go forward. Uh, whether it's a portfolio website, learning to build WordPress sites for clients, or building your own online business. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this section. And now in the next section, I'm going to finish up the course by talking about networking and happiness, <laughs> which is really what it's all about when it comes down to living a life of your own creation is being happy and connecting with people. So I will see you in the next video.